again. KEWB Airsoft, or known as the Cube. Basically, we're going to show you how RTL SDR really does work. But we've done a little cheating. We've already spent four to five hours getting the software to work, getting the correct XP driver, getting the USB port to work, and getting the correct DLL loaded. Uh, we've installed the jumpers in the board so we know HF already works. But once you get all that out of the way, what we're going to do is open up the software and show you it really does work. What I'm using is HD SDR. I find this program the easiest to use on XP. Uh, I had problems with Windows 7 and I had dreadful problems with Windows 10. And there's other software out there. Maybe you guys got it to work, but I found HD SDR to work the best. And you can see we are hooked up to the USB port. Where we have our UHF hooked up to the roof. And what we're going to do is open up HD SDR. No, that ain't it. What we're going to do is open up HD SDR. And right here we'll correct, connect our DLL which is our dynamic link library file that we got off the internet. And we're gonna turn the radio on. And what we are is listening to 162.55 FM mode, local no weather radio. Now you're thinking, okay, you got it to work in VHF. How do you get to work in HF? Well, this is what I did. After fixing the jumpers, stop, the software, external I.O. We're going to disable the UHF VHF port and open the Q input. The Q input is the low noise amplifier feeding the dongle. We got that set up, we close. Now what we're going to do is move our VHF UHF to our HF input. We screw that in and this is basically a long wire out on the roof. That's all this is. Got that hooked up. And basically we'll start the program again. I recommend starting and stopping the program so it does not get angry. We'll go to the frequency manager which I have preloaded some channels in already. Local AM radio station 1420. And we are in AM mode at 1.42 megahertz and you can see right there is the local AM radio station coming in. We can change the bandwidth and an example is we'll slide the dial down and here's another AM radio station right here and they're not coming as good so we'll take the game but you can hear them they're not, they're not as close but basically there's another AM radio station you can see there's a few more down the band but we'll go back to 1420 and we'll turn the game down. So that's basically the unit now working in direct input and in Q mode with the jumpers installed and the correct software. It's going to take you four to five hours to get this thing to figure it out and how, how it runs, but that's the adventure of a $15 item. Anyway, Cube Airsoft. Talk to you later.